case. Keep that motherfucker thing on me. Yeah. Fucking right. But that shit, ooh, we. It's funny, bro. I'm nervous as fuck, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit, we can always do two of these bitches. Oh, no. Nah, once we get to rolling, we're going to get to rolling. <laughs> I'm just thinking in my head how I want to start this bitch. I got AKA Mr. Velvet Tone. Ain't no Danny Tone. Right now. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, y'all, man? Y'all now tuned in off top with Cheddar Chaz, Mr. Velvet Tone, AKA, you know. Damn, how I fucked up my own shit. Chatter Chaz, Mr. Velaton. Hey, they know daddy's home. Okay, how I fucked up my own shit. Glad we're gonna have a blooper reel for this motherfucker. Hey, yo, what's up, man? Oh, fuck. Yeah, you have to get your mind right. Get your mind right. Ease your mind, my boy. Ease your motherfucking mind, hey, my boy. You ready? <laughs> Pull that shit off that grill, boy. You want some? No, not right this second. But I ain't gonna lie. Wait, you throw that red one at me. I just want a bone off that bitch. You hear me? I got you, man. You hear me? They gonna see you walking in and out of this bitch all through the whole video. That shit gonna be so funny. Why the fuck you ain't eat the cold? The fuck wrong with you? That's what they gonna be trying to figure out. Who the fuck the chef is in the back? <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Just know he a, he a whole sniper. He a whole sniper out this bitch. 
Hmm. They get that bitch swing. Hey, unlock the uh, front door. I told them to use the front door. What's up, bitch ass nigga? Nah, you know what the fuck was going on. Long face, little chin head ass boy. Hey, yeah, that nigga say he big knee Houston. Hey, right. Nah, close that bitch. bitch. We got the AC on, boy. It feel good as fucking hell, boy. You don't feel that shit? Bona, just a chicken nah, wang. Bro, this nigga know he country or fuck. He put onions on the charcoal. And bell pepper, nigga. And bell pepper. And bell pepper. I heard him. <laughs> he got a thumb for his head. And bell pepper. <laughs> he said he got a thumb for his head. He ain't gonna kick it in the back. You yeah. might as well roll you up some bloods, nigga. Oh, yeah, he tricky. He feel it? With the bullshit, you let the dope outside, my boy. Being ugly as fuck. And that's the only way you do that. On a bitch. Anyways, we live and fat with motherfucking Chatter Chads in this bitch. <laughs> big and back, boom. We ain't gonna say big and back, booming, because you know it's a whole <laughs> lot of left side of the other side. You feel me? The strong side, that is. Whole lot of neighborhood shit going on. Did the blue, the blue, in the blue. Oh, see, he already said it in the back. Get it. But you know I fuck with the red. Yeah. And but, if you didn't know, now you know, man. You tuned in with Cheddar Chaz, man. Yeah, man. Off the top with Cheddar Chaz, episode one. Yeah, man. Goddamn, got my boy Slim, Flacco Slim. How you doing, my brother? I'm just cool, vibing. Enjoying myself on this beautiful day. It is raining, though. I was about to say it did look like it was going to rain a little bit earlier. Shit, it rained when I pulled up. As soon as I got here, man. What's up, big care? How you feeling back there, man? Shit, I'm just cool. Ain't to it. Can't call it. I can't call it. Shit. So here we are, man. Episode one, dog. I ain't gonna lie, the shit feel kind of weird. <coughs> ain't did no shit like this in a minute. Had to give myself right. Had to pull up a little bit. Got down. Had to roll something up. Had the music playing too, but I don't want to get flagged, so. You trying to do that? Yeah. You feel me? Nice little stilo. Had to keep it right. You feel me? Make sure the shit right. How I look, ma? I'm on motherfucking camera. I'm on TV, ma. I look good. I'm scraped. Everything cool. Check me out. Make sure I got hat hair under this shit, but you know we here. You feel me? He can't do this with the interview, nigga. I got another one if you need it. I don't know what happened with that. Oh, y'all start the interview? Yeah, we just chilling right now. I can edit any time, bro. We running now. It's some 85 South shit. <laughs> yeah, we lit. Oh, we just hanging this one. Really, truly. So I can cut up right now. You feel me? The action. Lutz, camera. Action here. This nigga here, man. Yeah, this a vibe, though, man. You feel me? That's how it's supposed to be, dog. Then how many questions it is? 13 minus 50, goddamn 47. I got about, about 10, 50. Nah, about, I don't know, shit. Let's get into it, man. This nigga talking about, this nigga talking about 21. <clears throat> so shit, man. First question, man. What got you into music in the first place? What got me into music was really my homeboys. Yeah, like, you, you come, I ain't really you, like... You come from a background of rapping ass niggas, bro. No cap. Oh, yeah, Goons. G's yeah. up. Goon Squad, that is. Yeah, definitely. I, that, if Lost you don't know couple. who the Goons was, they was a movement. You if you know. ain't know, now you know. Yeah, you, you, will, you will soon find out. You definitely gonna find out. But yeah, man, I had um, started rapping because my dogs was rapping. Like, I always wanted to try to rap because they was rapping. And then... 
they used to be dropping so so much gas and I'm in the room and they freestyling and I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. Let me hop in this bitch. Said some shit, they laughing, I'm like, damn, I'ma get better, I'ma get better. Whole time, yeah. I'm just listening to them, watching them, drop they shit, and I'm just observing, playing the background. You know how that shit go, always playing the background. Yeah. I've had I have my I've definitely had my shit. I've definitely played the background. Not no more though, man. I got a lot of shit coming too. I ain't gonna lie to you, but shit. I don't blame you, bro, because I definitely remember uh Slink to be exact. Slink definitely had a huge run for a long time. We was kids, it was MySpace back at the time. Now that I think about it, I had MySpace music at the time. We would listen to that shit. If you ain't had that shit on your page, we ain't hear all that. And you was Yeah. Yeah, definitely. that shit yeah. was a staple. I, I mean, that be a stamp. Hey, that be a stamp. Dog been rapping six sixteen. Yeah. Like everybody been rapping six sixteen, really. Yeah, getting it in, doing our thing. Yeah, early high school, making a name for ourselves. Definitely, because I remember on the east side, it was definitely a thing. Cause show off was probably the most prominent that I've heard since. Before them, they was definitely like ahead of their time. They had a lot of shit. You know what I mean? What's up with y'all? Is you and Slink working on anything right now? Y'all got anything cooking up? Yeah, we got we got uh, me and um, Go and Slink. We got uh, some music. Uh, we working on me and Go and Reezy working on some music right now. Shout out Reezy. Reezy definitely always uh, cooking. Always cooking. Me and Blacker, uh, we uh working on something too. Shout out Blacker too and Jay Zo. Shout out the whole grind mode, man. They. Psh. Them niggas put a hustle on, boy. If you don't know about grind mode, you're gonna find out about them too. Uh, and if you don't know about thousand eight, OBN came, came a long way. way. All that shit, you gonna you find out gonna very soon. Know Trust that. Me. Shit, man. What's up with Reason, man? You doing music with Reason too, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nah, cause I definitely I Reezy is an upcoming guest on the show. Facts. He will be on this shit. The whole thousand eight, Sean, when he jump, he I we hit. Free that nigga G Dot, man. That's the motherfucking point. The Free G coming real soon. I'm telling you, bro. When for real, come for home, real. Big shit, shit really finna change, man. Yes, sir. Shit really finna change. I can't wait for that shit. <laughs> so who is like who is a few artists that in general that influenced you to make music? Like outside of the goons. Like who else did you listen to? It ain't gotta be a mainstream artist too, but was there anybody else who like made you want to rap, you feel me? Like, I remember when I was a jit, I was sneaking my headphones on the bus, listening to uh, Twister and Do or Die, Pope Pimp, that I do you want to ride, why you said every day, and that's how I got to Mr. Velvetone, you feel me? Like, just picking up off other people. But who was a few people that influenced you, man? i say BG. BG, yeah. BG did it. Well, really, Juvenile did it. Yeah. When I heard that, when I heard Juvenile, I'm like, damn, that boy, that yeah. boy snapping. Yeah. And then I heard BG, and I'm like, oh, this nigga go harder than this nigga. Like, this shit crazy. Now we showing our age. You feel me? So then I'm like, <laughs> then I'm like, damn, this nigga BG, guys, I'm fucking with BG hard. And then I heard Soldier Slim. And after that, it was a rap. I just started fucking with Soldier Slim and BG heavy. Yeah. And then I heard that um, Jeezy. Yeah. And it was just really just them three, Jeezy, Soulja Slim, and yeah. BG. I remember hearing Jeezy early on. I was a, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm a goo wop nigga myself. I can't front with you, boy. Once they, once they did they love beef, I I automatically picked the side and I I was goo wop. But I fought with Jeezy though. Jeezy makes some really hard music. I can't even lie to you. I definitely fought with young Jeezy. It depends though, like the situation. Because if it's some like we out at the club, it's me and my niggas, and I hear some Jeezy come on. I'm not finna not dance, you feel me? Like, that shit, <laughs> it's got a bop to it. The nigga was hard, you feel me? Gucci was straight. Gucci was straight. But you know, I'm on that track that, to die shit. Mm-hmm. Put that nigga ass in the dirt. <laughs> you doing too much, nah. You doing too much, nah. <laughs> ah, that shit gonna forever be great. <laughs> Yeah, he snout when he said that. But no, that nigga definitely he but got, dog, but got that his nigga own Jeezy, sound. Jeezy definitely got his own his, sound. He showed too. his uh growth and composure. Yeah, Jeezy definitely uh is an OG. I didn't expect that nigga to retire. He was president at Def Jam for a minute, if I'm not mistaken. I know he was doing some shit over there, but you know. 
But, I mean, they definitely both had their own sound. And I know with your shit, you definitely got your own sound. I wasn't, when you first started recording with me, I remember when you first told me that you wanted to get this shit going. And one of the big things you told me was that you really wanted to, like, have your own unique sound. You didn't want to sound like other niggas. So, yeah, like, everybody sound the damn same. Yeah. All that mumble rap <laughs> shit. Listen, when you hit 1008, when you hit OBN, came a long way, you're not going to hit that mumble shit. You're going to hear lyrics. You gonna hear the struggle, the pain. Yeah. You gonna hear a nigga coming from the trenches, the yeah. bottom, the mud. You gonna hear it. You gonna feel it. And yeah. that's a fact, bro. No, that's true. That's one thing I noticed about people. Like, it ain't even so much about like the <coughs> artist. It's about like the music you create. Like, if you really, like, if you really fuck with your music and you really like put a lot into your shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it comes out different. Cause that's how I am with my music. At least, like. That's why I'm just going to drop songs every day and put a bunch of... Like, I work at a studio. Like, if I wanted to drop a song every day, I could. But that ain't the point about the shit. Like, when I when I drop mine, I want everybody to know, like, oh, no, this nigga, he, he put something behind this. You feel me? Because I yeah. do. I really care about my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Erica Badu, like, I'm an artist. Like, I'm sensitive about my shit. And, like, I take this shit seriously. That's why I do this full time. Because, like, I don't, I don't got time to waste. You feel me? Like, so if a nigga... You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I like when niggas actually create. You feel me? So like, see, how would you describe the music that you like create? Like what's what what like what's your sound? You feel me? Um, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even say. I don't even know to be honest. I just say whatever go on that week or them two weeks or that month, I'm just gonna put that bitch in the song on how I'm feeling. I'm gonna go vent, let that bitch out. Whatever I'm going through, however I'm feeling, I'm gonna let that bitch out on the song. That makes sense. I mean, that makes sense. Definitely, because when niggas can't rap, I feel like that's because they lying. Like, it's easy to rap by shit that you've been through, a shit that you, like, currently going through. But when niggas get in there and get to rapping about shit they ain't got, places they ain't never been, it get hard after a while because you can't keep saying the same thing. Like, that shit get repetitive. Like, and people, especially when you putting out music, you feel me? Like, people notice that shit. People pay attention to the lyrics. Like, like that's one big thing to me. Like niggas ain't telling stories. They, it ain't no storytelling. And like, well, I'll give me that. Well, you, actually, you niggas is me, telling story. They they tell they, they fabricating. They yeah, tell them fucking they, lies. They fibbing on the mic. I feel you. But one nigga, you put me on. Rest in peace, King Von. That nigga definitely was a storyteller, and we missing that today. Like I, I'm a huge fan. I love Slick Rick. Like that that nigga was probably the greatest storyteller. But I love what King Von did. You feel me? Because. He kept it like in the lane of where he was at and what he was doing. You feel me? It yeah. ain't no, it wasn't no outside crazy. If, if he wasn't doing it, it wasn't in the lyrics. You feel me? And Facts. that's where a lot of niggas get lost. Like, I feel like they immediately just put some shit in the lyrics and then they don't live it. And then on the other side, they see the consequences of like it might hit them or it might hit home with them or something. And then they be like, oh shit, this ain't. This ain't what I really, you know what I'm saying? But you 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 out there lying. This ain't what you're doing. Don't let these people see you out and you not doing anything that you said they that you did in your rap. They don't really understand what come with that shit when they be doing that. Because the internet in real life, two different places. You feel me? And people get Facts. it misconstrued. So I see a lot of artists that are going <laughs> to the internet and act cool, act a certain way, and then go to a show and then be completely different of a person. Or be at an event and just be completely nervous, don't know how to act. You feel me? Because they ain't got no social skills. Yeah, you're right about that. You're right about that. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah, that one thing, man. When you when you gotta have the people skills in them shows. You gotta have. You gotta <laughs> talk. You gotta be able to talk. You gotta be able to talk. I'm telling you. So what's like? I mean, I've been in the studio with you. I work with you primarily. You feel me? But like, what's your creative process like? Like, what do you like? You feel me? Do you need anything special in the studio? Do you? Is there like a certain drink you get on before you get in there? You feel me? Like. Is there a certain type of routine you got when you get in that bitch? You feel me? So you pull up doing the car, like shit. Nah, really. When I when I when I book the session, I just book that bitch. Pull up, roll up a blunt, hit that bitch a couple times to get my mind right. <laughs> Go in that bitch, drop that bitch. If I don't like how that bitch sound, yeah. delete that bitch. Hit the guy again, get right. Start over. Go back in that, that bitch. Again, you feel yeah. me? Hell yeah, yeah, man. Nah, it make perfect sense. I don't blame you. I'd definitely be on that same time. <laughs> That's one thing though, man. I, I don't I don't mind smoking in the studio, but it's like that shit be too much sometimes. Like 
Like, nigga gotta be focused. Like, when I was younger, man, I smoked all day, make music all day. Like, now it's like, now I might have a little drink, pour a little something, you feel me? Roll up, chill, smoke a half the shit, you feel me? Come back in, I'll be just so ready to cook that it's like, I'm back in the kitchen, you feel me? Like, that's just how it is with me. I'm always cook up when I'm in the mood to cook, but I'm not always in the mood like I used to be. Like, I used, to, I mean, I still love to create, but it's like in different avenues now, you feel me? I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Is there anybody that you want to, like, that you think your sound would be good with, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, is there anybody that you want to collaborate, like, in particular, that's not somebody that you have already worked or been around? Um, I work. I work with anybody. To be honest, no, don't say anybody. Some nigga gonna well, hit you like, up on SoundCloud with a bullshit verse. Tell me, hey, I get fifty bucks for the twenty verses. You feel me? Man, Come out there and do an album. I'm gonna hop boy. on that bitch and gas that shit. <laughs> and man, and yo, now now you gotta do your whole verse over. Now you gotta do your whole song over. Do the whole album because I done, cause I done one. hopped on this bitch and I done straight gas that bitch. Then put a whole. Flame on that bitch. Now you gotta go get a blowtorch and put that bitch out. You can't. Now you gotta go do the whole shit over. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm hopping on that bitch. I do so anybody nah, don't need mad. It got to. I feel you. That's gonna help you at the end of the day because it's like you getting on the song with anybody. Yeah. Nah, that shit helping your craft. It's building it. Yeah. It's making that shit. It's making that shit perfect. I will give you a good verse. You wanna hear a good verse? Go to the motherfucking studio and cook your ass. Hold on. No, you right. Because, I like, one thing with me is, like, I definitely, I love to feature on people's shit. Because, like, I'm all about matching your vibe. Like, if I get on the song with you, you I, I mean, I ain't going to go make it my song, but I'm going to definitely put my best foot forward. You feel me? If you want to go back and redo your verse or whatever the case may be, you could do that. But I know me personally what I'm going to do to it. So if you want to get me on your song, that's cool. You feel me? But. I know niggas don't think about it like that. Like yeah. some niggas just come and create a song, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I've seen some people who make good songs look effortless at the same time. Yeah, you feel me? I've seen niggas come right in my studio and just whip a song out of nowhere in 20, 30 minutes. You feel it's me? easy. It's just, just it's like just, it's coming straight off the dawn. It's just off top with Teddy Chaz. <laughs> Niggas got to be consistent with that shit, yeah. though. No, I definitely feel you. Because I ain't... I am, but I'm not. Because, like, I don't want to be an artist no more. Like, I've surpassed that. You feel me? Like, I'm good. I'm about to start performing my shit, though. So be on the lookout. The show's coming soon. But other than that, it's like... I don't know, bro. You just got to get yourself out there, man. Cause I know you, man. I remember when you first told me about this shit and like what you wanted to do with this shit and what your whole goal was. And I was with it from the jump because I seen it. I seen the whole movement. Like like you said, thousand eight, the the, the the goon shit still came a long way. Ob Obn, you feel me? Like all that. Sh- I, I I remember when you told me about all that shit. You feel me from the very jump? Shout out HB too. That my boy. Definitely shout out HB. Mark Millions, the baby brother of hip hop. I can't go without shouting all y'all niggas out. I gotta get all y'all niggas in at least once. Goddamn. If you could open the show for one major artist, who would it be? Yeah. Let me get hit you right now. Hey, Slim, I need you to open up for me. I got a show in Atlanta. I need you to come and boo boo boo. What you doing? Who, who's, who's the one artist you taking that call for anytime? Damn, I don't even... that's a hard one right there. That's a hard one. Damn, that's a hard one, but I want to say yeah, but I gotta fold that nigga Jeezy. I gotta fold that nigga Jeezy. That nigga Jeezy, call. I gotta go do that. I gotta go do that. That nigga said I gotta. I don't blame him. I, like I said, man. I don't even know. I don't know who I would over for. It wouldn't be. I don't know. Nigga, that's G's, nigga. It might not even be a rapper. I know that's Yak. That's home team. Now. You feel me? Yeah. But nigga, that's G's, nigga. Like, come on, man. man. Yeah. You feel me? Nah. 87, 32, like, come nah, on, stop playing. Stop playing on this talk, bro. 
Nah, I feel you. Feel me? You I, play nah, that was a whole thing. Because when we was in school, I remember they banned us from wearing them fucking uh, the fucking snowman, the snowman, the snowman, the snowman shirts. shirts. Yeah, we was in school. We couldn't even wear them. They took them from us. They told us that we wasn't allowed to wear that shit. I got expelled for that shit. For that shit that was shirt. crazy. And then come full, show, Macomb, on that come, whole shit. come full circle, G Sean, free G dot at all times. Um, when his album dropped, he had the thousand eight shirts, and it's just so funny that the school boy banned them shirts too from the school. They had all the high school kids wearing them and shit, and they just cut that shit out quick. None of that. So it's definitely funny how that come full circle because when we was in high school, Sean was the biggest Jeezy fan that I ever knew. So he probably still is to this day. I remember the Jeezy Gucci yeah. battle when I seen him. He was Bro, talking man, cash shit. <laughs> he was talking cash shit, no cap. That nigga Jeezy, bro. Jeezy go hard, bro. That nigga Jeezy go hard, bro. Yeah, nah, I feel you. Him and that nigga Yo Gotti. That nigga gut, man. Free that nigga gutter, man. Hold on, man. My little brother FaceTime me. What's up, Jig? What's up, Rudy? Shit, recording this damn interview. What's up, bro? Uh, what you doing today? Shit, this right here, for the most part. What well, that nigga got? You done roll with up? Oh, uh, shit, not that I know of. You done roll with up? What is Saturday? <laughs> shit, I don't know. I ain't got no plan. What's good? <laughs> Gots to be more careful. Honestly, I don't know what you're doing. I might pull up on you later. Shit, just let me know. I ain't doing shit. Just call me. <sighs> It's so funny because when you call me your profile pictures, I was wondering. So listen, I ain't been able to find your number. I literally have tried to call you like three times over the past week, and I was like, this nigga number got deleted, but I forgot. I changed it to Tony Rock. <laughs> <laughs> so when you just called me and said Tony Rock with the little picture of him in the club, <laughs> I was like, yo, what the fuck going on, bro? All right, my boy, be safe, man. I love you. A nigga live. Peace. A nigga live in the fact, man. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought I lost that nigga number, bro. No cap. Yeah, what question we on? Um, shit. You can't stop the rain. You can't stop bum, that bum, motherfucker, bum, bum. bro. You can't stop that motherfucker. That's my shit. Um, boom. Care what that girl looking like back there, boy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no chicken wings good? They ready? Ooh, shit. I'm finna tear that bitch up. I know that. Mm. Back to this. And we getting back to that bitch. Yeah, so if you could get one message to your supporters, what is that? Um, Cause you do got mass supporters. I did see that. I uh, I would say, damn, I, see it'd be so crazy. Cause I don't be really knowing what to say. Cause I I ain't even really know people person. But I would basically say like, don't doubt me. Yeah. Don't give up on me. Yeah. Don't lose faith. That's it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, boom. So, all the seriousness. What's one of the most useless talents that you have? Something you just good at for no fucking reason. Uh, I could draw. For real? Yeah, good. I cannot draw. Funny story about me drawing. So, when we was in Bayshore, can I say her name? She's our art teacher. Miss Cotterland. She gave me art in ninth grade for like the first two weeks I was in there. It was cheap. I mean, I liked it. It was cool. But then I fucked around and she had me do a little project where I had to like put my feet out in front of me, like crossed over. And she said to draw it out on paper. Boy, when I tell it's the ugliest pair of feet I've ever seen in my motherfucking life. And then she kind of pulled me to the side and she was like, yo, you know, I don't really think this is for you. You know what I mean? But I don't want to fail you in this. So you could switch classes before it's too late. And I ended up getting two PE classes. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> what the fuck, bro? How you that, at, bro? That drawing, <laughs> that drawing shit easy, bro. I, I can't draw like that. Bro, bro, I swear man, to God. I'm in elementary drawing Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, no. Nah, easy. I, I, I remember. Like, no, 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 Looking at that shit. I remember that the shit. arms, because you used to have to draw the like. Yeah, that shit easy. <laughs> that shit was easy, man. <laughs> No, me and, my, me and my daughter easy. the other day was drawing Your the little feet. cars. I tried to show her how we do cars. When oh, yeah, cars easy. Cars <laughs> easy. Cars <laughs> easy. Cause she boy, easy. the shit that used to be in my notebook is crazy. Boy, I'm talking about Picasso. No, like my shit was terrible. I was good, though. I had the vision. I just wasn't into drawing it out. Like even now in video school, I got to do the little, uh, oh, shit. Even now in school, like I do the little storyboards and I write scripts out. Yeah, and that's I can't draw like something about it. Like it, you could do stick figures because really you're just trying to get like the visual of the scene. So like, say if the man laying in bed, like you just draw like a little bed and then you draw like a little stick figure laying on the bed. You feel yeah. me? And it's like oh, and then you write anything. Alarm clock goes off. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, like, so, about, you can, like so you can basically um, just see it as it's happening. Like some comic book type, type shit. shit. Yeah. Literally, it looked like a comic book. It's like six frames. You just draw that shit in real quick, scene by scene. But I mean, it worked. You feel me? Yeah, it gets the job done. You feel me? So, speaking of, like, since you have a useless talent, what's something you would be doing right now if it weren't if, like music? Mm. Like, did you ever have like a hobby or some shit that you could see yourself doing? Cooking. Cooking? Yeah. You could probably sell your food too. You're a natural salesman. Yeah. I, I can I can throw the fuck down. My dogs used to call me Daddy Slim, man. That nigga used to be in that bitch cooking. Daddy Slim, age, man. Daddy Slim, man. Been that shit in a long time. Been fucking cooking. I ain't heard that shit in a long time. Yeah. That used to be this nigga thing for real. Like, I ain't just cooking up, <laughs> whipping up. For uh, real. Nigga at the spot. Yeah. Nigga, nigga hungry, nigga got yeah. the spot. You feel me? Nigga gotta eat. Nigga, that bitch whipping up. Nah, you right. Whole meal. That's dinner, one thing. One thing dinner. about my homies, but them niggas know I will cook. I am not afraid. But I would get on that stove and it's oven quick. I'm talking about with the I don't just heat shit up, microwave now, nah, that shit. But I like to cook. That shit is for real. Well, I love that shit, dog. So outside of that. What else? Do you, is there any other thing you have besides cooking that you would love to do? Like, could you ever seen yourself playing in the league? Could you ever seen yourself a lawyer, a doctor, some shit? Like, some outside of the realm of, like... Football, probably. Like, probably I could have went to the league football. I don't, I don't know if I ever wanted to play, like, professional football. I don't think I did. Like, it never, like, crossed my mind. Like, oh, I'm pretty good, you feel me? But, like, it never crossed my mind. Like, oh, no, nah, that's really what I want to do. Because the way that I see these kids now, like, when I play high school football, I wasn't that locked in. Like, I just knew I was yeah, good. They, hey, yeah, they focus on that shit. See, you, you feel me? Focused. Like, I be watching we some of these videos. We was going through, like, real life shit. That's yeah, why we like to focus. These kids just get to play sports yeah, they get and that, chill they, and they, do they, all that other shit. You feel like, me? They get to enjoy life and shit. We ain't really it's get so crazy because I'm I'm watching them and they doing all this shit. I'm just like, yo, I'm so proud of them for doing that. But damn, we ain't get that shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> I remember they was trying to get us to damn carpool our high school games. If it was a home game or some, I mean, an away game, we used to have to carpool with the team. They wouldn't even get us a bus. Damn. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. So what's up, man? You you still performing? I know I seen you did a couple performances, man, already, dog. Like, what? How how is that? You know what I'm saying? Cause I still ain't performing my shit. I performed places before, but like recently, now that I dropped my album, I still ain't performing. I ain't did a video for that. I got that shit coming, but I ain't did a video for that shit. I ain't none of that shit, bro. Like, what's it like when you performing nowadays, man? No motherfucking butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Before that shit, man, listen. <laughs> that nigga said, I'm when you get on, like, you straight. Like, when you on stage, like, everything straight. But, like, when you got to, like, rap your shit. Yeah. And, like, that crowd looking at you, it's like, yeah. oh, shit. Especially if they not vibing with your shit. That's, yes. And it's like, then when they not, like, they not man. vibing to your shit, it's like, damn, I cannot forget my fucking words to what I fucking rap. <laughs> <laughs> it's my <laughs> shit. Then it's my shit. Then if I do that, then they go, like, Definitely like bull nigga. 
Like, what the fuck? This nigga don't even know his own fucking songs to his fucking lyrics to his songs? Like, come on, See, that's man. that's fun fact. I, that why it's so funny. Like, none of my lyrics are on Apple Music or any of that shit. Because, like, I don't write none of my shit. So, like, I be having to listen to my shit over a couple of times before I remember, like, exactly what I said. You feel me? Like, See, man, so, I, man. when I perform it, I know them now. You feel, obviously. But it's like... I don't be knowing them bitches. Yeah, I forget that shit because I ain't never writing that shit. And like, that's not for everybody. You feel me? I'm not saying I'm better Man, than anybody, but when like, I write, when that I shit write not that for shit, everybody. I, I write that shit. I drop that bitch. Forget it. Yeah. I gotta listen to that bitch so many times. Like, if I finna do a video to it, I gotta listen to it that day so many times. Yeah. Just to remember the damn lyrics, right? <laughs> shit, I be like, damn, I gotta stop doing this. I gotta yeah. remember my own lyrics. And that shit so crazy. I know what you mean, because I damn joke. Damn joke. So what's your favorite venue that you performed at? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I got a favorite venue. I ain't really... I performed probably like two, three times. Two times in um, Tampa, one time at the hall. Well, it really wasn't like my performance. It was my dog. It was my dog Slink performance, and he let me uh do a little uh, hook in the verse for uh, for Money Bag. Open up. For oh Money no, Bad. I remember that. I was there for that. That shit. No, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't expecting that. When Money Bag came here, he had went stupid. I like. I remember when Roddy Rich came, and it was not all that. But when Money Bag came. Nigga put on the show, boy. I'm yeah, talking about facts. that nigga put on the show. Facts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that nigga, yeah. Money, money, money bad. That shit was crazy. Yeah, I was saying, this nigga, nigga really performed, bro. He came to the hall, boy. If you know the hall, bitch, you know the hall. You feel me? That shit is not a place you think you see money bad. But he came. He did his motherfucking thing. So what's your favorite songs to perform when you doing that? Mm hmm well, the song Get It In, I just draw. I like, I like that song. I'm ready. I want to perform that bitch. I got to perform Look that Look that up. All that, platforms. Get It In, all Flacco Slim. All Five platforms. Eight. You feel me? That, um, damn, what the fuck? See, look, the head is again. I don't even be remembering my songs and shit. So that I'm crazy. Shit, <laughs> uh, I think that shit called uh, Pax In. I like that song. I like, I like, I have performed that song. Shit, man, we got rights to this. I can play this. What else? Uh, damn, that vent. I like that vent. On uh, that gel. That ratatouille. Yeah, my brother like that ratatouille. That nigga fucked up by that bitch, bro. That and I get it in. I mean, you can't really drop this song. Yeah, I beat to all my goons, man. Bricks, TK, Mike Lowe. Cool. Blah. RP Joe. Shenavia. Vile, man. Yeah, they talking about two years. Hey, they, hey, they play, boy, with a nigga talk. With that shit like that, boy. Lay down. Oh, yeah, I dropped it when I had got out. Let me get you, man. We love to spin the band. Yeah. <laughs> They ball until they fucking fall. Back against the wall, I'm a motherfucking ball. Yeah, he's from there. That's it right there. Hit the block. I play with Tony Shaw. He asked about it. Hey, hey, go. Hi, son. Look at that. Hey, hey, look like me. <laughs> and the young niggas be wildin'. Moving for that bag, G. I think I am this shit. 
Yeah, man, we we can play that whole song. I ain't gonna lie, dog. That's one of them. Um, so since you've been putting your music out, man, like now your shit's on hit the internet. You know what it feels like for people to give you feedback. You feel me? Like, what's it like when people are like, like, how do you feel like the internet has impacted like the music business and like how you feel about your music? Man. Like back then, it really wasn't no internet like that. Now you can do like whatever you want on the internet. Well, yeah, you can do whatever you want. It's just like certain things you can't say, but you can do a lot on the internet. And with your music, you can you can like reach a lot of people with your music using the internet on yeah. all platforms. So it's like that's it, one thing it's a about bonus it. Using yeah, the internet. you you can talk to anybody. Like like Twitter, I think Twitter was probably Twitter was probably the one that started it all. To me, like Twitter, you could like get directly in contact with a nigga. You yeah, Twitter I mean? was like, crazy. Then Instagram was probably the next up where you could just like DM your favorite artists and then who like they really might look at your shit. You feel me? You never know. So, but the internet, like, it's definitely it plays a big part in what's going on in music right now. Like, I feel like people live through the internet. Like, we were talking about earlier. It's, it's a difference between the internet and real life. Yeah, you know? nigga, hey, sometimes that real life shit, niggas be going to the internet, putting that bitch on the internet. They need to leave that bitch off the internet. But that's how niggas get fucked up, go to jail and shit. They got to oh, chill on that God. shit. They, they can't be done. I seen niggas shit, go bro. live on the internet with illegal guns and shit. And I'm like, yo, bro. Niggas going live with, with, with bodies on guns with the serial I'm numbers like, on yo. Shit. Bro, it's gonna be a long day. Like how? You just it's like you telling on yourself and then the first thing you do is get out and say, Oh yeah, bro, nigga snitched on me. No, nigga, you was on live for forty five minutes with a Glock with a switch on it. That's illegal, bro. And you swinging it around because you wanna look cool, you wanna scare somebody. If it was like that, the people that knew that you needed to have it know that you got it. You know what I'm saying? Like I just don't understand the point in that shit. <laughs> I really don't. I never did understand that shit, man. These niggas really just need some help. They got too much going on. Two young niggas like... Lost in the damn sauce, man. Lost in the sauce, boy. That's, hey, it one thing, boy. That's some sauce. It could be any kind of sauce. Just don't get lost. At all. You feel me? At Remember all. That? Don't get lost in the sauce. Speaking of that, What's the best advice that you've ever been given? Whether it was pertaining to life, music, goddamn, a chess move, you feel me? Like, what? what's, like, the best advice that you've ever been given? Uh, I would say. Do you remember who told you? Yeah. My grandma, she told me to surround myself with people that want to accomplish like more than just goals in life like they want to they want to just like do more than like you know how like people set goals and shit like yeah yeah, they accomplish them but they also like want to like touch people in a different way i have to write my goals down change like change somebody like life like somebody could be going through something and you just step in their life and change that shit yeah you got to be able to shift people's view, like, their perspective. Yeah. Because sometimes people do be in fucked up situations and people don't even know. You know what I mean? You can come in and say the day just like the other day. I was in uh, the Publix out on the island. Excuse me. I don't know if you've ever been out there, but they got a really, really nice wine section, right? So there's an old man that's in there. And every time I'm in there, like... He just doing his thing, like he's stocking the wine. Everything is like picture perfect. You can walk in there at any time, take a picture in any section, and send it to your people, and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, this is top shelf type shit." Ooh, uh-huh. It's in the public, you feel me? So I seen him. This is like second or third time I've seen him, but like every time I go over there, it looks exactly the same. So I stopped him and I just tapped him. I was like, "Yo, my man, I just want to let you know, man, it looks really good over here. You feel me? You're doing a great job." And I gave him just a fist pound, and he gave me the fist pound. He was like, "Oh, thank you." And like as I was walking away, he like stopped me. He's like, "Sir, no, really, 
Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Like he, like you feel me? Like so, it'd be little shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you just, you never know. But like you could just step in one day, say some little shit to somebody, and just change their whole. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, what and I'm a saying? lot of people don't understand that shit though. Like, like it just, it's bigger than you. Yeah, that's one thing. Like I always try to look at that shit. Like where it's, it ain't always just me. Just you know what I'm saying, giving out advice. Like, I listen. I try to hear people out. I tell people, you know, hey, this is what's going on with me, but what's, this ain't about me. What's up with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you got to check in on people sometimes, man. Even if you don't know the people, dog, just say what's up to them. Just speak, speak with kindness, bro. Be kind to people. Dog. I hate when I see people out here being, like, just being an asshole for no reason. Like, that shit don't make no sense to me. If you like, yo, just be good to people. It'll come back. I promise you. I, I swear on everything I love, it'll come back to you, bro. Yeah. Oh, so they are tears. Oh, gee, boy, I've been on this strawberry hey, Tito's, Tito's got me like. Yeah, uh, strawberry Tito's. I didn't want to say what was in my cup, but my strawberry Sarah Tito's and Simply Lemonade combo. That's my first time drinking that. This shit. Shout out to Jay Terry. He put me on this. That's my boy. That's my little brother. That's my dog. <laughs> that nigga put me on this shit, no cap. Shout out to the whole ass squad, man. So, if you could change anything, like absolutely anything about the industry, what would it be? Um, them damn, them damn record deals and contracts, man. Like a three hundred and sixty. Yeah, like all that shit. Like, yeah. I just feel like people should get like, all right, if I sign this contract, like, give me like, like, fuck, 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 fuck this. First of all, I know if you finna say if you finna be like sign this contract, I'm gonna give you a million dollars. Okay, now I know I'm worth a million dollars. So, bro, if I'm worth a million dollars, you got to do more than just that. Like, if I'm finna sign this contract, you got to make sure I'm straight. You got to make sure I'm going to be able to at least have some money when I'm done rapping. Yeah. Some real money. You just yeah. can't have me out, hanging out high and dry. You feel me? Yeah. All fucked up. I'm thinking I got money and I really don't. Yeah. Like, all this shit just for show. In, re in reality, I ain't got shit. That is correct. Actually. So it's like, damn, why the fuck I'm rapping? Where a lot of people don't understand that and won't get that. <laughs> nah, you right. <laughs> Damn, boy, you just had a mouthful. Damn. Nah, a lot of people get fucked up, put in a bad situation, because people need that shit sometimes, you feel me? Like, but it ain't going nowhere, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's, and that's a thing, bro. And, like, labels or record deal or whatever, like, they... They know when, like, a motherfucker, like, real deal need that shit. So they'll put them in a fucked up ass yeah. situation just to sign that shit. Off and it's like, bands. damn, bro. And it's like, yeah. damn, bro. You you forcing my hand. Yeah, no. But it's but it all it all boils down to really, like, just, like, believing in yourself and staying true to your fucking self, bro. Gee, always, shit. Always bet on yourself. Always. Always bet on yourself. Always been that's yourself. Fact. That's definitely the one, cause that's one thing. Like, it took me a long time. Like, it's. I mean, I we're all being honest here. Um, it took me a long time, bro. Like, you gotta bet on yourself. Like, you ain't ain't nobody got you like you do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that. at the end of the day, like, you gotta make sure you straight. Like, we could take care of a lot of things for a lot of other people. We could be the best person for other people, but if you're not being the best person for yourself. It How you gonna be the best person it, for them? Yeah, you feel me? So it's best to bet on yourself, man. Take care of yourself. Always invest in yourself, man. If you own a business, I'm telling you now, all that it ain't no profit. Stop thinking about profit, man. Invest in your business, man. Keep your shit going. Market scale, grow, d d all that. Get your shit popping, bro. Like multiply your services. You feel me? Like. Invest in yourself. Die. Yeah, you got to keep going. It's always going to get to a point where you feel like you want to stop. Keep hustling, dog. I got my hand in so many pots now. Like, you got to keep going. Like, the, trust me, it's something on the other side. Like, I, I I know it's on the other side for me. So that's why I'm always doing this shit. And I see people and they always stop me and they're like, yo, 
you it's so crazy, bro. I seen you doing this, and now you're doing this. And even to this, like, this is the first episode, and it's, it's, it's going to get so much better than this, you feel me? Because, like, I see the vision, and, like, it's here, it's, it started, but somebody got to do it. So we got to start somewhere, you feel me? So it's like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I say that, that I really time. mean that. It's, it's, it's that, that time. time. So that's why I tell other people, like, you got to stand on what you believe in. Like, that's your shit. You feel me? Like, I don't, it ain't no other way to say it. Like, invest in yourself, bet on you. Trust me, every time. It never fails. So, enough about that rant over. What's next for you as an artist? Like, what do you see for yourself? Like, where's 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 Flacco Slim going to be in the next year? I mean? I want to be doing, I really want to be doing, like, more, more shows. Okay. Wow. You trying to perform, like, out of the country? I mean, not out of the country, out of the state? Yeah, I want to I wanna go out of the state. I want to go to Atlanta. I want to go to Tennessee. I want to go to Texas. Are you I looking to get a Cali. manager? Um, or an agent. You just want to book the right, shows. Like, if the, like... Because you don't technically sign a deal when you get a everything manager. Fall you just into get place, if everything yeah. falls into place, uh, everything line up right, yeah, I, I get one. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Shit, we all need to be managed. Shit, I need an assistant. I got so much going on. Now I need somebody to take my appointments and shit. And it sounds silly, but it's like, it's not like I've reached a certain level to where I can do that now. You feel me? So it's like, like calls coming in. Yeah, so it's like I, I need that. You know what I'm saying? It, it Like me, like I said, I was my biggest critic. And there was times where like I needed an assistant before this, but I never would do it. I would just try to take care of myself. and woo, woo, woo. But it's like I got so much going on now that I need someone else around to manage that while I'm creating because I can't create and direct and do yeah. all this and be a and part of yourself all, all and then directions. recording music and making my own shit and Don't doing all this like out. yeah it's too much so I got to be able to just create and do what I do best and allow other people to do what they do best and like manage time so that's exactly what I'm gonna do you feel me but other than that man shit that's it, man. Is there anything you want to say to the people before we get up out of here? Uh, I just want to say, y'all going to see a lot of me, Flock on Slim 58, <laughs> you feel me? Y'all going to see a lot of Goon Reezy. Y'all going to see a lot of G. Dye Sean. Y'all going to see a lot of Goon Slim, you feel me? Like, my boy HB, he coming. Like, OBN 1008 came a long way. That shit stamped, sold up. We here. You can't stop the rain. As dog said, you can't. You really can't. Ooh, this gonna be lit, boy. Yeah. It's a vibe, boy. Oh. Free my nigga gutter, man. You feel me? Dog coming home, man. Nah, for real. Shit, crazy, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, Mr. Trap House. Mr. Dope Boy. Mr. Stone Boy. Oh, y'all gotta get one of them um, chicken. On the bench, I get me a chicken. I get me a chicken. I gotta take the. I gotta take the mic off because I gotta get a chicken, a piece of chicken. That bitch over there, you feel me? I'm hungry in the motherfucker. Oh, I put that fire out.